My favorite nursery rhyme goes like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Now all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. I gave a lot of thought to this and I wanted to just check it out and try to understand it a little bit on why uh, uh, this whole situation was like this. So I tried to bring it to modern day terms first so we could understand it a little better. And I was thinking, first of all, Humpty Dumpty had to be very physically fit. And it goes sort of like this. One day Humpty was walking down the, the sidewalk there and going through the park and the sidewalk. And, and, and he comes across this wall and he looks up at the wall and he's like, you know, that'd be a great place to sit and just watch everything going on in the park and, and just enjoy the cool breeze of the day and it'd just be an awesome place to be. So Humpty Dumpty, and if you remember what Humpty Dumpty looked like, Humpty Dumpty was an egg with just arms and legs, and, and that was pretty much it of Humpty Dumpty. And Humpty Dumpty climbed up that wall. He climbed all the way to the top of it, and he sat up on that wall, and he was just enjoying the day. Now, something must have happened. Something pretty catastrophic must have happened because Humpty Dumpty fell off that wall. Now he was physically fit. He was able to get up on that wall by himself. So obviously that's not, that's not going to be something that's very easy for him to fall off of. But he did. He fell off the wall. He come tumbling down to the ground. And he broke into a million pieces. Well obviously Humpty Dumpty had a cell phone that day because he called for help. He knew that he needed help and he wanted to go to what would be the best. He just didn't want to call his family. He didn't want to call his friends. He didn't want to call just the paramedics. He wanted to call what was going to take care of him at no, at no expense on helping him. So he called the president. He's like, Mr. President, I got a problem. This is, this is Mr. Humpty Dumpty here. I fell off the wall and I'm in a bunch of pieces. I need help. I need help bad. Well, the president immediately went to, to Congress and, 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 and he passed a law to fix Mr. Humpty Dumpty wall, uh, law. And, and, and they all just gathered together. There was no, no Republicans against Democrats or anything else. They're all like, we got to fix Humpty Dumpty. We have to fix him. So they all got out. They got into their Mercedes Benz and their Rolls Royces and, and their Cadillacs and their limousines and all this stuff that they drive around. They may not have Rolls Royces, but all these cars that they, they, they want to get out there, you know, all the king's horses and all the king's men. They all gathered together and they, they headed off to see what they could do to help Humpty Dumpty. They took and they, they spared no expense. They, they went and they had all the, the resources they can to take and take care of them, but they couldn't. They couldn't put Humpty together again. And that's really a tragic and sad thing. But you know what? There's so many of us in our lives, we are Humpty Dumpties. We, we do the Humpty Dumpty role. We have a problem. What do we do? We go to our friends. We go to our families. And they really can't help us. They can't really give us the right advice. We should be going to God. We should be going to God and saying, Lord, I have a problem. What can I do? Please help me. You know, when we pray, it's not doing a, a form prayer. Prayer is when you talk to God. It's an awesome thing when you sit there and you just speak to God. It's a precious time. It's a precious time. A lot of us go on, we, we uh, put our eternal life in the hands of man. We're Humpty Dumpties again. We go and we, we, we decide, well, you know, I could do good things because I heard that God does, God's a loving God and he wouldn't send anyone to hell. And that's true because in John uh, 3.17 it says, For God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. See, God isn't going to send you to hell. We send ourselves. We send ourselves. But you know what? God loves us. God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son to earth for one purpose, to die for our sins. You know, I grew up, I grew up knowing that Jesus Christ is the son of God. 
I believed that he was God. I knew that he came for the purpose to die for our sins. But I never, ever learned growing up that if you want to go to heaven, if you want to go to heaven, you got to put your trust in Jesus Christ and ask Jesus Christ to save you from your sins. See, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but it doesn't mean nothing if we don't ask Jesus to let us be part of that. If we don't say, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. Make me part of what you did on that cross and save me from my sins. you got to pray from your heart and in your own words and ask the Lord to save you. It's so simple. It cost Jesus Christ, it cost him everything, but it cost us nothing. You know, if you believe that, that doing good deeds is going to get you to heaven and you never ask Jesus to save you, you'll be going to hell. The Bible tells us this. If you believe that helping little old ladies across the street is going to get you to heaven, it's not going to do it. If you believe that you, you grew up in a good family and, and you, you did a lot of good things and that outweighs the bad, that's not going to get you to heaven. Jesus tells us in John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. you got to put your trust totally in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us so much. But you know what? we got to go on our own. Our mothers can't save us. Our fathers can't save us. Our kids can't save us. Our friends can't save us. Our church can't save us. The only thing that can save us is Jesus Christ. So we need to go to him personally. We don't go to any mediator. We don't go to, to, to his mother to, to get us into heaven. We don't go to, to the apostles to get us into heaven. We go directly to Jesus and say, Jesus, save me from my sins. Jesus loves us. That's why he came to earth to die for our sins. He didn't want us to go to someone else. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. There's not any other way. He says, I am the way and the truth and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. He's telling us that if you want to go to heaven, you got to go through him. You may say that's, that's uh, 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 that he's just being one-sided or, 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 or single-minded or, or however you want to word it. But you know what? He has the right to. He, he created us. This is his world. He created everything in it. He loves us. He wants us to go to heaven, but we can't go into, a, into the holy heaven with sin in our lives. That's why he provided a way, the perfect sacrifice. God the Father sent Jesus Christ, his son, to die for our sins so that we can live in heaven forever. Will you do this today? Will you ask Jesus to save you today? You can do it so easily. Just pray and say in your own words but in, from your heart, pray something like this. Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and three days later he rose from the dead. And I ask you to save me from my sins. Make me part of what Jesus did. If you do that, when you close your eyes for the last time here on earth, you will open them up in the presence of the Lord. I want to see everyone saved. Please do this today. Don't delay. And then go to a loved one and let them know so that when you do leave this earth, they have some hope to see you again. God bless you all.